So here we are, the 10 10 is a baseball pitcher for the University of Dayton. And the question, the functional question that we asked was how do we throw a baseball? So Tim's going to go through the throwing motion. I want you to observe what he's doing and start thinking about the components and the functions necessary to be able to throw a baseball. Okay, here we are looking at our skeletal model and we have identified the three bones that are important for us to be able to perform the throwing motion. So we look at the relationship and, and the question that we have next is, is how do we stabilize this system together? What types of tissues uh, will we need to have in place to be able to uh, hold these three bones together? And then what actions will need to occur for us to be able to perform the throwing motion? And finally, how do we get that signal from the brain to these structures to be able to throw? Okay, so here we are in the anatomy lab and we're looking at the upper extremity. The skin has been removed and we're down to the level of the muscle tissue. When looking at muscle, it's important to appreciate the direction and the orientation of the fibers. This will give us some insight as to what action is actually being performed by that muscle. So now that you've seen this module, we have some larger questions. Through that throwing motion, uh, pitchers commonly have injuries. People who throw, throw baseballs have common injuries. So your task is to identify first what are the weak links in that chain of events and, and see how we might be able to improve them. The overall question, how can we build a better human to be able to throw that baseball, minimize injury, and at the same time maximize